The World Health Organization has released a report on its joint mission with China to trace the origins of the coronavirus. The report practically denies the unfounded speculation that the pandemic was caused by a leak from a lab in China's central city of Wuhan. But the U.S. and some other countries are not happy about the result. They issued a joint statement criticizing the WHO for a lack of transparency in the report, again without offering any evidence. While origin tracing is a scientific issue and experts on the WHO mission have reached their consensus, some people are still desperately pointing fingers at others, raising questions about their true agenda. Let me just get this straight. COVID-19 origin tracing is about scientific research, not politics. And like any scientific research, it takes time and patience from the general public. The key here is to be open-minded and let science do its job. But what we have seen so far from some countries, the United States and some of its allies to be specific, are just lies and allegations. Not to mention those allegations are not even true. For example, the lab leak theory, a so-called hypothesis, that has been refuted many times by international experts has now been refuted again by the WHO report. The claim that the virus definitely originated in China has also been dismissed. As a matter of fact, a series of studies done in various countries have already found traces of the coronavirus elsewhere in the world long before the epidemic broke out in China. The point is, these political blame games don't make any sense. The world should not forget that it is those political tricks that have assaulted facts and science, fostered fear and misinformation, stoked prejudice and hatred, and jeopardized trust and solidarity among nations. As a result, the already exhausting battle against the deadly pathogen has been rendered even worse. Those who keep politicizing the origin tracing of the COVID-19 just miss the point. Scientists trace the origin of the virus not because they're trying to find someone to blame, they do so because it can help the human race beat the virus at an early date and prevent future outbreaks. There is still a long road ahead to get to the bottom of the virus, but letting science prevail will bring the human race one step closer to the truth.